फाइव थिंग्स यू मे नॉट नो अबाउट सिगम एंड फ्रॉइड नंबर वन फ्रॉइड्स डेथ मे हैव बीन अ फिजिशियन असिस्टेड सुसाइड बाय द समर ऑफ नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइन फ्रॉइड वॉज फ्रेल एंड सफरिंग इंटेंस पेन फ्रॉम टर्मिनल इन ऑपरेबल माउथ कैंसर ऑन सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी वन नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइन फ्रॉइड ग्रेस प्र देंड ऑफ हिज फ्रेंड एंड डॉक्टर मैक्स श एंड रिमाइंडेड हिम ऑफ हिज अर्लियर प्लेज नॉट टू टॉर्मेंट मी अननेसेसरीली ही एडेड नाउ इट इज नथिंग बट टॉर्चर एंड मेक्स नो सेंस आफ्टर रिसीविंग द परमिशन ऑफ फ्रॉइड्स डॉटर एना शर इंजेक्टेड द फर्स्ट ऑफ थ्री हैवी मॉर्फिन डोजेज फ्रॉइड स्लिप्ड इन टू अ कॉमा एंड नेवर अबो नंबर टू हिज चेन स्मोकिंग लैड टू मोर देन थर्टी कैंसर सर्जरीज फ्रॉइड बिकेम एडिक्टेड टू टोबैको आफ्टर लाइटिंग अप हिज फर्स्ट सीक्रेट्स इन हिज ट्वेंटीज हिज डेली कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल्स ऑलवेज इंक्लूडेड स्टॉप ओवर्स एट अ लोकल टोबैको स्टोर एंड आफ्टर ग्रेजुएटिंग टू सीगर्स ही ऑफन स्मोक्ड मोर देन ट्वेंटी ऑफ दैम अ डे इन स्पाइट ऑफ द वॉर्निंग्स फ्रॉम डॉक्टर्स अबाउट हिज चेन स्मोकिंग फ्रॉइड बिलीव्ड द हैबिट एनहेंस्ड हिज प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड क्रिएटिविटी After the discovery of a cancerous tumor inside Freud's mouth in 1923, doctors removed a large part of his jaw. Although he underwent 33 additional surgeries over the next 16 years and had a large prosthesis inserted to separate his sinus and jaw, Freud never quit smoking. Number three, his famous couch was a gift from a grateful patient. Freud employed hypnotism when he opened his medical practice in Vienna in 1886 and he found it easier to put patients into trances if they were lying down when he began to employ his talking cure in his psychoanalysis Freud also had his patients recline on a couch covered with a persian throw rug given to him as a thank you gift from a patient named madam ben vanisty while he took notes in a chair out of sight number 4 the nazis burned his books and drove him from austria although an atheist himself freud was born into a jewish family and became a particular target of the nazis when they rose to power his books were among those burned by the nazis in 1933 which caused him to quip what progress we are making in the middle ages they would have burnt me nowadays they are content with burning my books after germany annexed austria the nazis raided his apartment and the gestapo detained and interrogated his daughter anna with the assistance of his friend and patient princess mary bonaparte a reluctant freud fled to paris and then london with his wife and anna number 5 He was attempted to steal his ashes. After Freud's death, his ashes were placed in an ancient Greek urn given to him by Bonaparte. When his wife Martha passed away in 1951, her ashes were added to the vast stored at London's Golders Green Crematorium. In January 2014, London police reported that thieves had attempted to swipe the Freud's ashes. Although the theft was thwarted, the thieves severely damaged the twenty-three hundred year old urn. Did you found that helpful? If yes, then definitely share this with your friends as well and join Inspiration Abroad now, your hub of informal education. Thank you.